55 years. That's how long the Hilux has been dealing with the hardest tasks out there, and the moment it was launched, it took the leading position and never dropped it for all these years. Many tried to beat it, but all failed, because it looks like the rival companies never understood the essence of a pickup truck. They were trying to make more refined, more comfortable, and more technologically advanced competitors, but that's not what counts. In the pickup truck universe, what really counts is a perfect blend of durability, reliability, toughness, endurance, off-road performance, utility, and longevity. Toyota engineers set a perfect foundation and showed everyone how the evolution of a vehicle should go. That's why the 2024 Toyota Hilux is a pickup that still amazes everybody. Among many markets where this pickup is sold, Australia is certainly among the most important ones. Down under, the Hilux has been holding the title of the best-selling model for a long time. And that's why the Japanese company has decided to award loyal Australian customers with an all-new first-ever Hilux with a GR badge. The new model is called the Hilux GR Sport, and it brings a solid portion of upgrades and exclusive features. Speaking of exclusivity, let's start with the color options, as there will be just five of them. Glacier White, Frosted White, Stunning Silver, Eclipse Black, and GR Sport Exclusive Feverish Red. Also, only three of these five will be available with the optional black roof. Besides color options, the GR Sport also brings several exclusive styling details, starting from a unique black mesh grille with contrasting Toyota lettering and a GR badge. The front end also brings a new bumper, reshaped and restyled, in order to provide a better approach angle, with new fog lamps and silver molding. Oh, and let's not forget to mention an upgraded skid plate for better underbody protection. Exclusive styling details continue on the side, and the first thing you'll probably notice are unique 17-inch wheels with Bridgestone Dueler GRS C2 all-terrain tires, as well as massive black wheel arches. Furthermore, the Hilux GR Sport also comes standard with 2 mm thick powder-coated rock rails that protect door sills and underbody. On the rear end, the GR Sport gets special treatment and brings a black bumper, along with a couple of red recovery points, a pre-installed tow bar, tow ball, trailer wiring harness, etc. A few exclusive features can be found on the inside as well, like a rally-inspired steering wheel with a red center strip, GR badge, and paddle shifters, as well as things like leather suede seats, red seat belts, aluminum pedals, etc. But the Hilux GR Sport is not just an appearance package. It also comes with a wider track, upgraded suspension for better off-roading, and upgraded brakes. Moreover, Toyota removed a sway bar in this model to improve suspension articulation, while the well-known 2.8-liter turbo diesel received a slight power increase to 165 kilowatt and 550 newton meters, or if you prefer, 221 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque. For comparison, that's 15 kilowatt or 20 horses and 50 newton meters or 37 pound-feet more compared to the standard version of this engine. The engine comes exclusively with a six-speed automatic transmission, and despite the power increase, the max towing remains rated at 3.5 tons. The new GR Sport is arguably the most important update for the 2024 model year while the overall layout of the pickup is going to stick to proven solutions. The current generation of this pickup has been around since 2015, and even though most rivals are younger, it still holds the leading position dominantly. One of the main reasons is the variety of cab styles on offer, as the Hilux remains available in three quintessential pickup layouts, single, extra, and double cab, which is a variety that most rivals don't offer anymore. Another big reason is that Toyota still keeps things simple with its pickup. Although times have changed and even these kinds of vehicles are now comfortable, convenient, and pretty luxurious, most buyers still appreciate traditional pickup values. And that's where the Hilux still shines. Of course, it all starts with a rigid chassis, which is complemented by a classic suspension setup, which still relies on leaf springs on the rear end. Moreover, all versions except for the new GR Sport still feature drum brakes on the rear end, which may be rudimental, but still is the most dependable technical solution. On the road, this pickup is surprisingly maneuverable, 
but it simply can't overcome its technical limitations in terms of the chassis and suspension setup. It's not as smooth as a few rivals, including Navara, but it's decent enough. Off the road, the Hilux is on its own, especially if you pick a version with four-wheel drive and other off-road upgrades, such as a locking differential, low-range gearing, hill descent control, and better tires. Under the hood, the Hilux is available with several proven powertrain options. In most parts of the world, the most basic versions still use an old 2.7-liter inline-four petrol engine with 122 kilowatt or 165 horsepower. It certainly isn't the most exciting powertrain choice performance-wise, but in the long run, there are so many great things about this bulletproof engine, which is widely recognized as one of the most reliable four-cylinder engines ever made. For more demanding drivers, Toyota offers a couple of diesel units as well, with way more torque and better fuel efficiency. Many buyers are pleased with the smaller 2.4-liter turbo diesel unit, but our humble opinion is that the real deal comes with the aforementioned 2.8-liter, rated at 150 kilowatt and 500 newton meter of torque. Finally, if you're lucky enough to live in parts of the world with loose emission standards, you can even get a V6 petrol-powered version and enjoy a pretty nice exhaust note along with strong performance. Back in 2015 when this pickup was introduced, many were amazed with its car-like interior. At the time, the Hilux looked way better than its rivals from the inside, but times changed and competitors got updates. Still, even today the Hilux's cabin looks decent enough, with decent cabin space and good ergonomics. Of course, a lot of things depend on the version you choose. For example, base models are rather practical than comfortable with vinyl flooring, basic seats, and standard fabric. But even these versions get a couple of modern tech features, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Mid-range options are already quite premium, with better upholstery, bucket seats, and convenience features like upgraded steering wheel and shifter, carpet flooring, rear parking sensors, etc. Finally, the range topping model brings leather seats, a premium audio system, and many other goodies. Speaking of the standard and available features, Toyota's pickup still holds pretty well against competitors in terms of safety features. All models come standard with automatic emergency braking, pedestrian and cyclist detection, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, etc. Additionally, you can get front parking sensors, hill descent control, blind spot monitoring, surround view camera, rear cross traffic alert, and many more. Despite that the current model is still quite relevant in every aspect, the Japanese car maker is already working on the next generation, which will allow the current model to ride off into the sunset with grace. The new Hilux is expected already by the end following year as the 2025 model. At this point, details are still unavailable, but we know for sure that the new Hilux, just like the rest of Toyota's body-on-frame lineup, will ride on the TNGAF architecture. Moreover, it looks like the new Hilux is about to share most of its part with the North American Tacoma, which has just received a complete redesign. Many reports already show rendering photos with styling that closely resembles the North American sibling, especially at the front. But more importantly, this means that the new Hilux might adopt some more advanced technical solutions. Most versions of the new Tacoma will feature a multi-link rear suspension for improved ride quality and disc brakes on all four wheels on all models. Still, if we consider that the Hilux is present in much tougher parts of the world than Tacoma and performs on all kinds of terrains and in all climate conditions, we are pretty sure that the standard offer will include more basic setups and that things like leaf springs are about to remain standard in most versions. More advanced solutions would be used on comfort-oriented variants, we presume. As for the powertrain, we are pretty sure that the diesel units are about to carry on, probably without bigger changes. But keep in mind that there is also the new hybrid system, which has just debuted in the new Tacoma and Land Cruiser Prado. That system could be reserved for some high-performance variants of the next-generation Hilux with a max output of 243 kilowatt or 326 horsepower and a quite impressive 630 newton meter or 465 pound-feet of torque. 
Normally, this leads us to the petrol-only version, with the same Turbo 4 on which the hybrid is based, which comes in different outputs and can be a great addition for markets like Europe and the Middle East. The transmission will also be new, with the 8-speed automatic replacing the current 6-speed unit, while the 6-speed manual will remain available with specific powertrain options. What do you think about the 2024 Toyota Hilux and the Hilux GR Sport? Is the current generation still a gold standard among pickup trucks? Should you buy the 2024 model or wait for the next generation? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.